Well, great morning, everyone. Um, well, the first thing I woke up to is, uh, <laughs> and I, it is late. I have never, ever slept this late in my entire life. But uh, I took a Advil, the, the nighttime Advil, and it knocked me out. So <laughs> I, can't, I can't believe it's 10 o'clock already. I, really? I slept until 9.30 in the morning? <clears throat> That's crazy. Anyway, so I woke up and I see that Jeffrey Epstein has died by apparent suicide. Well, mm, you know, I might uh, want to do a reading on that later because I've got a feeling that somebody helped him along a little bit because uh, there are a lot of people that that weasel has information on. Okay. And I think it would be pretty easy to get somebody paid off to uh, help them along with this suicide, you know, to shove whatever pills down his mouth or however it was done to overdose him or, you know, to, uh, yeah. So, um, yeah, a heart attack, a parent suicide, a suicide heart attack. So where did he get it? It's got to be some sort of a pill or something. Where did he get it from? Okay. So we'll have to see the uh, what are the uh, dynamics of this. But I've got a feeling that somebody helped him along with that because he's got too much information on too many powerful people that I'm sure that weasel would have in the end coughed up if he thought it was going to help him in any way. Um, <clears throat> so there you go. That's what happens when you're pimping to powerful people. And uh, I'm sure he's really enjoying his time on the other side today. Not. <laughs> uh, yeah, his fun has just begun. So, Jeffrey Epstein now is in a hell realm of his own making. I may pull out four cards and just see what we got. Just a quick four and that's it. So, what is going on with Epstein on the other side today. What is going on now that Epstein has left his body? What's going on with Epstein? What's going on with Epstein on the other side? What's going on with Epstein on the other side? Okay, so what I got here is 
just coming out of the thing real quick. Big emotions, Queen of Cups, full emotions going on now. And the challenges, Knight of Pentacles, Lord of the Wild and Fertile Land. So, you know, a lot of emotions are coming up with him. And he's going to have to feel all the emotions that he put these women through with his Knight of the Fertile Land, okay? With his wildness and the stuff that he did, Lord of the Wild and Fertile Land, because he was sowing his oats everywhere he could with these young women. So now he has to pay the consequences. He is in a hell realm, having to feel all the emotion and pain that he put them through. We have the King of Pentacles, yes. The crown on the skeleton's head, okay. And what's crossing it, the spirit of ether, the foolish man. So now he's having to deal with all the deals that brought him to that death. Okay. The foolish man is going to encounter all the deeds he's done. He's got a big book of deeds there. That's a big book. Okay. He's got a big book of stuff that he's going to have to face where he's at now. We have the Knight of Pentacles. How did he make his money? And that knight is uh, missing his head. Again, missing his head. We got the skeleton head. We have missing his head. The foolishness that he's done. And we have the Knight of Cups. So it is coming along, presenting him with all the things that he has done in life. And now he's got no head. In other words, he's not in control of it. He is not in control of it. And he can't get out of it. It's coming forward to him, no matter what he wants or he doesn't want. Last but not least in this real quick one, we have the Empress. Oh, the one that keeps giving. And what do we have back down? The skeleton and the child. Okay. And we have the princess of swords. Okay. Princess of swords. So yeah, again, the truth with all the things he's done to these children. Okay has now brought him to his death, and now he has to face all of it, unending. He will face the rapes, but be on the other side of it, okay? He's on the other side of it now. He's in the place that his victims were in, and there's no getting out of it for him. No getting out of it. It is serving it up. It is bringing it there. Serving it up. He can't get out of it. Every deed that he has done, the book has recorded it. Okay. And the foolish man is now getting his comeuppance on the other side. Okay. For all the emotions he put people through when he was there cavorting, playing Lord of the Manor, the big man, the wealthy man, okay? So yeah, let's see, is there anything else on this real quick? Yeah. Six of Cups. We've got the children next to the graveyard, all the children, all the young people, 
that he has abused. Okay. The Six of Swords, what he's earned. What he's earned. And the side, I like that. The Lord of Earned Success. What he earned him, his success in the world. He's now earned not being able to get away from the memories of what he has done. But this time, karma is going to let him walk a thousand miles in their moccasins. Okay. In other words, he's going to feel every emotion, every pain, every fear, every disgust that he inflicted on these young people throughout the world while he was in his castle. They all were coming back to haunt him. Okay, to haunt him. So good luck with that, Epstein. Yeah. So think about your actions in the world because karma, and when you get on the other side, when this is your mind spin, he's with pedophiles, and that's who's going to use and abuse him on the other side. Okay. Over and over and over again. Hearing the screams of his victims, feeling their pain. Okay. Welcome to your new reality, Epstein. So I'm going to leave this here. It's, uh, yeah. Good luck with that. But again, I've got a feeling that uh, somebody may have helped him along. Let me just get a card here real quick. Did somebody help Epstein along or did he do it himself? Did somebody help him commit suicide? Did somebody help him commit suicide? See what we got. Well, we got the four of swords. Okay, yeah, he laid down and died. All right, took him out. Did somebody help him with that? Like on that one, the crow sitting there watching him. <laughs> Did somebody help Epstein? Help him out. Universe. <clears throat> the great one of the night of time. Great one of the night of time. Universe. Yeah, universe. Something helped him along with it. The universe, the world. The end point. Okay. Princess of Cups. Yeah. I think somebody may have helped him. They may have brought something in and given it to him. And and said do it. Okay. They may have brought something in and given it to him. 
but we'll see. We have no um, we have no information yet <clears throat> on exactly what happened, but uh, somebody may have brought something in, gave it to him, and said, "Either you do it, or we'll do it for you." Okay. So I'm going to leave this here. We'll have to see if the cards are right or if they are wrong. <clears throat> One thing I know for sure, beyond a shadow of a doubt, is that he is in hell now. And he will remain in hell for a very, very, very long time. I'm going to leave this here, grab my coffee, <clears throat> and then get ready for the day to do some readings, and I'll see you online. Aho.